On the stand, a mom details the moment she learned what happened to her 16-year-old daughter, Sarah Yarborough. When we got there, that was when they told us that her, her body had been found. Laura Yarborough says it happened on a weekend when Sarah had stayed behind while the family traveled out of town for a soccer tournament. She was discovered on December 14, 1991. Sarah Yarborough fought for her life that morning where she was sexually assaulted, where she was strangled, and where she was killed. Prosecuting attorney Celia Lee says the man who killed her is Patrick Nicholas. Patrick Nicholas doesn't and has never matched the description. That argument from defense attorney David Montez. Prosecutors say nearly 32 years ago, Sarah, a member of the drill team, drove to her high school campus in Federal Way for a Saturday morning invitational. She arrived early. After leaving the safety of her car, Sarah was encountered by her assailant. Lee says that man forced Sarah into a nearby embankment. Shortly after, two boys, ages 12 and 13, were cutting through campus. All of a sudden, they saw a man pop up out of the embankment, the bushes. The boys said the man walked away, and as they moved closer, they saw Sarah's body. What followed was a large-scale police investigation, thousands of tips, but no arrest until investigators turned to a forensic genetic genealogist and used direct-to-consumer DNA test data to generate investigative leads. Nicholas was identified and followed by investigators who were there when he discarded a cigarette. That discarded cigarette from Mr. Nicholas was a match. It was absolutely the first case ever used genetic genealogy. In 2019, Nicholas was arrested. Today, his defense attorney says the police investigation had lots of false leads. They used technology that is not only unproven, but just wacky, really. Montez says his client is innocent. He's not the person that killed Sarah. Now the trial continues here tomorrow morning with detectives expected to take the stand. Live in Kent, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.